Well, the countdown is almost up here in Minneapolis as Virginia is preparing to hit the court against Auburn here in the final four in about 10 minutes. I've taken the day to go around Minneapolis go to here at the Fan Fest to see how UVA fans are holding up right before the big game. Why was it that important for you to see this game today? Because <laughs> the fans well, are going to win. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. How crazy can you get? Come on now. You're saying uh, I even have the shoes. So <laughs> yeah, I, 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 have the shoes. I even yeah. have the shoes. So I have to be a little crazy. <laughs> Plenty of games still trying to continue as everybody's trying to squeeze in that last little bit of action for the snow. We'll have more updates throughout the weekend on social media. All right. Time to unveil the, again the top 10 polls. Take a look at the boys poll right now. We've got Cave Spring at one. They're still moving strong. Northside winning big tonight at two. LCA. Look at this. Tunstall shooting. Shooting up with the big win today at Martinsville. Shooting up to four with EC Glass at five. Just moments ago, NASCAR's first data 500 NASCAR Cup Series race just wrapped up, and it's Joey Logano who books his ticket to Homestead. Well, just sing it with me. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I will never sing again. I'm sorry. Well, if you're a high school hoops fan, it is the most wonderful time of the year. State Championship Week. Well, let's go back. February 27th, 2002, the year VMI football last got a win over a ranked opponent. What was the number one song in the country? It was always on time by Ja Rule, and just like Ja's album, VMI fans know pain is love. But Coach Scott Wackenheim's team all love today after this TD catch. Reese Udinski hitting the freshman Chase Knox, lifting the Kedets to a 14-13 win over number 10 Furman. Here in Salem, we're getting ready for the Carolina League All-Star Game, which kicks off at the top of the hour. You know, there's been a lot of buildup for this game, 22 years in fact. That's how long it's been since there's been just Carolina League players in this matchup. I know you enjoy a game you've got some great dance moves we're going to be seeing oh i know in fact emily i got a question for you i was talking to southpaw during the commercial break southpaw really wants to see you here tonight <laughs> got a big big old kitty hug waiting for you here well, tonight i'm so, gonna uh, be there he's acting all shy now but he, he's looking <laughs> he's gonna be there he's gonna be looking out for you how about we finish with what happens next this is at liberty do we have stall fall or crawl. Marissa, what do you say? Oh, I'm <laughs> All out. right, it's okay. I'm Go. gonna say stall. Stall. What do you say, Matt Ferguson? C crawl. C crawl. Matt Ferguson, two for two oh, and wow. oh, because this comes nice. at Liberty's wow. diaper dash. Parents have their babies <laughs> crawling from one end of the court to the other. Yeah, look, we got the cell phone out. Now watch I got to show you all this. Look at this. The cell phone. Once the cell phone comes out, look how quick she takes off <laughs> down the court. Uh, look at look that. All the way she could go. Oh, she's got some all swagger too. Oh, the way. Boom. <laughs> Mom, you're going to want to upgrade that data plan. She's going to be using that phone a lot. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Walls live with the Danville Otterbots. We're about to have baseball. I've got the very first order of the Otter Tots. Cheese, bacon. Oh, yeah. That's good. More tots and more sports coming your way next. First, more tots. Now, the real battle to watch here for tonight, Dennis, is a young offensive line for Appomattox versus a very strong heritage defense. We're going to see who wins that war tonight on Football Friday at 11-15. I mentioned playoff atmosphere. How about these Appomattox fans? <laughs> Dennis, back to you. Did you learn from your past mistakes? I did. I need to use the gas pedal and not the brake pedal. With that advice, I take my final run, clocking in at just over 38 seconds, a full seven-second improvement. Yeah. Growing by leaps and bounds right here in Virginia, I just had to get up close and personal, too. It's an unusual sport that combines the best of household work to concrete work. It's fun. That, that's, it. that's that simple. It's interesting and it's fun. It's the speed of the game that can overwhelm someone new to paintball, with the paintballs themselves traveling nearly 300 feet per second, meaning we're going to need some extra precautions if we're going to get on the field. Long sleeves in order to protect our arms and a mask to protect our face and eyes. All set. Oh, hi everybody. I'm Dave Walls. Happy Thanksgiving to you. As you can see, well, you're kind of in my kitchen right now as I'm putting the final finishing touches on a Thanksgiving feast. Turkey's not quite done yet, but we're getting there. Thanksgiving traditions, the big meal is one of the big things we look forward to each year, but that's not always the case in the world of sports. But a Thanksgiving morning practice for these players, it's a tradition unlike any other. If you're here, it means your team is still alive for a state title. So what sort of effect does a new ball have on the World Cup? Well, when you look at the Brazuca ball from 2014, in comparison, the Telstar ball of 2018 experiences more drag in the air, meaning a ball kicked 55 miles per hour will travel 8 to 10 percent less than the ball used just four years ago. Well, less than 24 hours before kickoff here in Annapolis for the 2018 Military Bowl. But the question is, for fans, which hat are you putting on? Is it Virginia Tech or Cincinnati? Well, I hit the streets to find out. Tonight on ABC 13's Football Friday, our game of the week. 
Liberty looks for their first 4-0 start in over a decade. But Amherst County wants to finally start their season with a win. Who wins the Seminole District Showdown? And Brookville has been mowing down opponents early in the season. But upset-minded Jefferson Forest have the bees in their sights. Would Brookville or JF take the win out of Stinger Stadium tonight? Keep your eye on the ball. We got your highlights, plus band and cheerleaders of the week, and the top three plays inside the trifecta. Football Friday starts right. No whoopers at halftime. Everybody acting right. Now. And hello, everybody. Welcome into week four of Football Friday. I'm Dave Walls. We mic up William Campbell's coaches. Wait for a surprise there. Plus, we have our new player of the week band cheerleaders. You know, Kenneth Fulcher tells me that despite his pain from stage four lung cancer, watching wrestling with his wife is their special date night activity. So for one night, the Fulchers forgot completely about cancer and enjoyed a special date night in Roanoke. <laughs> The superstars of the WWE played to thousands of excited fans at the Berglund Center. <laughs> but none more excited than this guy. How are you feeling, sir? Are you ready to go? Well, I don't know about waking up because I think I stayed up all night long. <laughs> it's a day Kenneth Fulcher Sr. and his family have been looking forward to for quite some time. Surprise! Surprise indeed. One by one, WWE superstars came in to greet the Fulchers and brighten their spirits. It's okay if a diva kisses Papa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Just before showtime, the Fulchers' favorite wrestler stopped by to meet his biggest fan. Hey, buddy. Goodness. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Good to meet Roman. you. You doing all right? Yes, sir. Damn. When you can take a little bit of extra time to connect personally with somebody, make a friend, that's that's what's awesome is the friendships, the relationships. That's that's what you take with you. Uh, you know, that's what you take home with you. So that I'm proud of that. It's those relationships and connections to wrestling <laughs> and each other that continues to get this family through one of their toughest times. We don't experience fear and we don't back down. It was Roman Reigns' quote, battling stage four lung cancer. And you can believe that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> It's game day in Appomattox. Cheerleaders and fans alike ready to cheer on the Raiders. <laughs> it's just so exciting. I mean, everybody gets into it. The Bedford League basketball team has the whole school out to show their support. Just the look on these kids' faces is so heartwarming. Being recognized for their abilities instead of their disabilities means so much. And these players are definitely getting recognized. But a lot of them say when they put that uniform on, they feel famous. <laughs> there he is. Got your fan club out there. Be number one. Students are given time out of class to come cheer on the team, making players like Jacob Smith feel like a star. Oh, I get a whole lot recognized. I get them at the middle school, the high school, whatever everywhere I go. There are some minor differences. Fans cheer for both teams. And in between quarters, all players get a chance to shoot and score in front of their fans, even getting applause when the shot hits a different target. No matter what the score, even the players will tell you, winning and losing aren't the most important things in the Medford League. Uh, just being with my friends, just having fun and all that stuff. I want them to know that they were a part of a team, that they made a difference, that even though they had a disability, they were able to show people that they could do it. So they were able to, to do whatever they wanted to. 